When you think of some of the biggest busts in NFL history, if you grew up in the 70s, the name John Reeves might come to mind. Reeves was the 14th overall pick in the 1972 NFL Draft. The Philadelphia Eagles took the Florida quarterback, hoping that he could be the future franchise guy, but it never panned out that way. To say that his time in Philadelphia was a disaster would be an understatement. Over his entire career with the Eagles, he started 7 games and played in 16 of them. He went 0-7, threw 7 touchdowns and 15 picks, and posted an abysmal 50.1 passer rating. During the 1974 season, he had a passer rating of 5. That's it. Obviously, his career did not go at all how anyone thought it would. But he did have one shining moment. And as it turns out, that moment came when he least expected it. What followed was one of the most surprising performances not just in Bengals history, but maybe in NFL history. And this is the story behind that. Before we talk about the game, we need some context. Again, to say that Reeves was not having a good career up until that point would be an understatement. Everything that could go wrong for Reeves did. He had to undergo surgery for a torn ligament after the offseason of his rookie year. He got arrested on a marijuana charge a few months after that. And of course, the stats were bad as he didn't even throw a touchdown pass in his final two seasons with Philly. After just three seasons, he landed in Cincinnati and was serving as the backup to Pro Bowl quarterback Ken Anderson. After an incredible 1974 season for Anderson, where he led the league in passing yards, he followed that up in 1979 with another great year, where he led the league in passing yards yet again, and made it to the first Pro Bowl of his career. And because of his performances, the Bengals started the season 6-0, and were looking like one of the best teams in football. They were formidable challengers to the Pittsburgh Steelers for that AFC Central crown. And on November 30th, they were squaring up against the Houston Oilers in a huge game. Back then, only four teams in each conference made the postseason. Pittsburgh was 9-1 in leading the division. Cincinnati was 8-2. Houston was 7-3. So if Houston won this game, then all of a sudden, the Bengals were now in serious danger of missing the postseason. But you've got Pro Bowl quarterback Dan Pastorini against Pro Bowl quarterback Ken Anderson. It's a battle of two of the best throwers in football, so it should be a great game. Except Anderson wasn't going to be playing in this game. It was looking good as Anderson warmed up, but as it turns out, Anderson had a chest injury from their game the week before against the Browns in a 35-23 loss. He was a true game-time decision. Literally 15 minutes before the game, head coach Paul Brown ruled Anderson out and told John Reeves that he was going to be starting. Reeves, in a matter of just 15 minutes, had to be ready for this one. He was going up against a defense that was 5th best in the NFL in points allowed. He was starting out of nowhere in a must-win game. He hadn't won a game before in his career, hadn't thrown a touchdown pass in 3 years, and had completed just 4 passes all season. Oh, and the weather was going to be absolutely atrocious, so good luck throwing a football. All the circumstances were not in his favor. The odds were completely stacked against him. And yet, somehow, he had the greatest game of his career. Reeves threw for two touchdown passes and had a passer rating of 107.5. He had a completion percentage of over 56%, which, while not impressive by today's standards, is really good by 1975 standards, especially when Dan Pastorini on the other side was 10 for 34 and completed just over 29% of his passes. And most importantly, the Bengals won the game 23 to 19. Both of Reeves' first half touchdown passes were the difference and gave the Bengals a 16 to three lead at halftime that they could ride on for the rest of the game. It was an absolutely shocking performance in all the best ways. Paul Brown was impressed, saying that he did a tremendous job, and that even with all the pressure on him, he played really well. And Reeves said that during the game, he just tried to put the past three years he had at Philadelphia out of his mind. Safe to say, that worked out well for him. Because of his efforts, the Bengals not only won the game, but made it to the postseason. Would this be a turning point in the career of John Reeves? Not quite. That was the last time he ever threw more than one touchdown pass in a game. He got a few more chances to start down the line with the Bengals and the Oilers, and even started a few games for the Buccaneers during the strike in 1987 when he was a scab player, but he didn't do much of anything. After that game, he threw just eight more touchdown passes in his career, alongside 17 interceptions and a 51.7 passer rating. He didn't even come close to reaching the high that he had against the Oilers. But it's amazing how athletes function sometimes. In the best game of his entire NFL career, and in the only game where he looked amazing in a winning effort, somehow, he was able to do it under dire circumstances with just 15 minutes of notice. Talk about the importance of expecting the unexpected.
Be sure to like this video, ring the notification bell, and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as it helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out Twitch every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for your chance to play NFL trivia and win cash prizes. Link in the description below. If you want to see videos like this in 10 sounds to 60 seconds, then follow me on TikTok at Jarogator9 and subscribe to 60 Second NFL History on YouTube. Also, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters for helping on the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.